All right, YouTube, another video here for you. Just want to do a quick touch on what I installed on this door, the screen door. This is a leopard screen door. Um, and uh, I'll post a link to the items uh, down below. And then I'll also post the installation instructions for each one of these. I'm not going to do an installation video. They're pretty simple, and Lippert does a pretty good job at uh, detailing how to get that installed. So first thing is this screen right here is the screen protector, uh, the screen defender um, from Lippert. Uh, we have a couple of little dogs that we take with us and, and my daughter around as well. We don't want to push anybody pushing on the screen. It's pretty, pretty weak, actually. Um, and so um, the, uh, the screen is not the defender. Um, and so we put this defender on there to kind of protect the screen from them pushing it out or breaking it or falling it, whatever it is. So um, I, that's the first thing. Um, this, this typically goes on the bottom. Um, I liked it a little bit better on the top for a couple of reasons. One is it keeps the kids from messing with the buttons here because um, it pushes down above it. Um, this was already on here, this uh, screenshot, which is what closes the door or the screen door if, we, if I detach this. Uh, from the screen door, it automatically closes the screen door. And that was already on there. Um, but uh, um, so it, it kind of protects the screen in, in itself there. So I just had to use one of these that came from uh, uh, with the screen defender. These plastic things came with the screen defender. And it comes with multiples of your screen is bigger. Um, you do have to measure your door to get the right size. Um, I got lucky because somebody ordered the wrong size. Um, and they sold it for a little cheaper than what they bought it. Um, so make sure Lippert has a video. I'll post it below as well. Um, uh, what their correct si how to how to get the correct size. And then the the, the other thing that I bought was this uh, screen assist. It's also from Lippert. They make a lot of cool stuff. Um, this one uh, is just a, a quick assist bar um, to help um, kind of. It's really more for the screen than anything else. Um, if you're inside and your hands are full, you can push this down with your elbow. It not only opens the door, if only the screen door is closed, um, and, um, but also it can work as, as a pull handle as well. Um, got a bit a little bit confused when um, I was installing it because um, I didn't like the way it looked on this ledge, but it closes fine. The video shows that it's that way. Um, it overlaps here a little bit. I didn't like that, but... Um, the video showed that it was correct. And then the other thing is, uh, when I first was screwing this bottom one in, um, I had this thing opened all the way, and I ended up putting a hole through there. So just be careful as you're uh, installing it, if you're going to install it, uh, to pull this out this way when you're tapping the, hole, the screws for that. So um, Other than that, um, the other thing I did is these are wedges, like um, shims, the, the little plastic shims that you buy. Home Depot for like doors and windows and things like that. I had some extras um, in the garage and I put them on this thing because if not, this thing would flop out all the time because uh, there's nothing else holding it, just just this piece below. And so I saw this on a video, somebody else um, did it uh, with something else. I just used the shims because that's what I had. Um, but uh, one on this side as well and that just holds it in place so it doesn't fall out. All right, so that's a quick video on what I did for the door. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.